What is going on my Masketeers? Welcome back to another episode and we are here to talk about House of the Dragon episode 8 and yeah, let's get into this one. I can't lie, this episode here, this is prime Game of Thrones where so much is happening but it's more about the characters and gathering of the storm should I say. The episode starts off with we find out that Lord Corlys has been hurt on one of his ships and he's presumed dead, you know, he got cut across his throat and he fell into the ocean haven't discovered his body but they're saying that the likelihood of him surviving quite slim so because of that somebody has to take over the driftwood throne now already that's causing problems because as far as everybody else is concerned it's already got an heir which is meant to be Rhaenyra's second son since he is quote-unquote the son of Leno Valerian but as we already know when Leno weren't really doing his job and he wasn't able to get Rhaenyra's pregnant so you know them kids right there th them three they all bastards baby but the thing is no one says nothing because to say something would be treason even Coralus himself he didn't care about blood he cared about history and the only thing that matters in history is names not whether or not the person was really or truly who they claimed to be the name that they carried and what they did with the power that they had he's a man of ambition princess Renice is currently holding the seat until her husband comes back or her grandson is crowned as the new lord of driftwood but there is somebody that's saying listen man fuck all that nonsense about ambition about history books i care about the blood what really matters is the fact that our blood remains because we have been here for over a thousand years we've come from valeria we escaped the doom and our bloodline has survived and i'm not going to allow somebody else who's not truly our blood sit on the throne or on the seat that our family built that is literally um Coralis's younger brother vermon so you know he's on that time he's like nah listen i do not want to war with you Rene but you and I both know those children are not really your grandchildren I don't want to go into a contest to contest him for the seat and I'd like your support I don't need your support but I'd like your support so with that now Rhaenyris is literally at Dragonstone with Damon living that good life they essentially get a summons to King's Landing because supposedly the heir of Driftwood is being contested that being her son and if he is being contested the reason is why and we all know why it's gonna be the claim that because he's a bastard and if he is a bastard then essentially her claim to the throne is under jeopardy they all decide that they're gonna have to go to king's landing to sort all this stuff out and this is where the game of thrones gets played best baby we go to king's landing it's the family reunion straight from the gates of hell all the kids again it's been six years again with this time jump it's been six years and the kids are older and we get to see the grown-up versions of her children well let me not even say the grown-up versions but these are like the young teenagers of her kids yeah and also of Alison's kids now let me just say this right off the bat Aemon Targaryen you might remember Aemon Aemon is the one that got jumped in the last episode where they took out his eye let me tell you something yeah whatever that beating did to him losing that eye and becoming a dragon rider has turned this man into a savage because he looked bigger than the big brother before his older brother Aegon was tall and all that now Aemon is like a grown man his brother looks like he's around like 17 18 maybe like a cheeky 20 year old Eamon looked like he 25 and he got two kids in the back he looked grown as hell in comparison to his brother which is hilarious to me because before Eamon was the weak cowardly one his brother was cocky and whatnot but now obviously Eamon is he's literally he's young Damon 100% just with one eye he's one Damon and he's with all the smoke I like that I don't know how he's going to fare against the king himself you know the true demon time Damon but I like to see that happen let's get down to the king my lord Viserys 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 this man here has tried oh my god this man is looking like the actual crypt keeper he is finished he is a former show of himself we thought last time was bad oh this time is terrible this time it is terrible he is just skin and bones now man teeth all yellow got gingivitis he's missing a couple of teeth as well oh lord oh Viserys man stop holding on to life baby let it go <laughs> let it go but to be honest with you the reason why he can't let it go yet is because he has to fix his family he can't die until he knows that his family and his house is united and so there's actually like a scene where each person is going to state their case for why they should become lord and hold the seat of driftwood you have obviously Renera who's advocating for her children and she feels that again this shouldn't even be a conversation because 
because of what this would mean for her children if it doesn't pass to her son then you have vermon who's basically saying that nah listen only valerian blood can sit on the sea of driftwood and then you've got the person who's in the middle princess rainies where again she hasn't decided who she's gonna back yet right and so they're having like the big council meeting and then otto is sitting he's sitting on the throne because he's the voice of the king while the king is absent this is his hand now right and just when you think it's all going to go in the high tower's favor the doors bust open a man man viserys comes in wobbly one arm and all of a cane he's got a mask on but my god this man listen the heart of the dragon is still in him because he literally climbs to the throne and then like as he's trying to get like to the actual seat itself his crown drop and Damon comes and picks it up and ah oh, my god man it was a beautiful moment between these two brothers I don't know what Damon is eating and drinking because this man is not eating a day like he's still exactly the same man he's a literal Westeros vampire you need to give Viserys some of his blood because listen Damon does not age but devils really do he helps his brother to the throne and then he puts the crown on his head and I can't even lie to you at that moment yeah it kind of felt Damon could see what it means to be king and how this throne has destroyed and diminished his brother so greatly to the point of where I think Damon could see that this is truly something he didn't want for himself he never really wanted to be king because the reality of it is just too much and Damon wants to be free and this crown and throne looks like a prison that's what I took away from it anyway but that moment was so hard man so many levels so many levels and then essentially there's a part where like they're having a dinner and all the family is gathered the service makes a moving speech about how the house has to be united and all that good stuff and he's looking around and seeing like his family and at that moment i knew this nigga was dead <laughs> at that moment let's have played the soft music for him and i thought to myself yeah he's on his way out that's the reason why they're giving him a good moment because he's not gonna make it and honestly man i felt for him because that's the only thing that he really wanted he just wanted the house of the dragon to remain strong and that was like his dying wish so i felt for him to look upon all that he has seen and to see like his grandchildren his children his nieces his nephews all sitting together marrying each other in a weird sick way but still beautiful i guess for targaryens i could appreciate that even otto hightower was out here kiki keen as well so i thought all right cool but like always man it always goes left and by the end of the episode you see why man you will see why so i am not gonna do a good for this episode because again i think i've described everything that happened which i which for me was all positive all positive so we're gonna skip the good this time but just know highlight aemon targaryen my guy 100 percent aegon he a piece of shit he's dead this guy he's not popping at all at all damon <laughs> <laughs> Damon stays being the winner, man. Damon is A1 every time. A1 source, baby. Can't be B. Highlight of every episode for me. And I get to learn new things and new levels to him. So as a character, he's definitely like one of the best characters in the franchise. For me, he's more compelling now than Jamie. And he did it in such a short time. As long as they don't mash up his character arc, he's a better character than Jamie Lannister. And Jamie Lannister was one of like the most complex characters, along with Tyrion. But Jamie was a very complex character. Damon has taken that throne. Hold tight. Viserys, I salute this man for what he tried to do, especially with his limitations. Hold it down, sir. Now, let's get into the bad of the episode. My only negative, again, is the, is the time skips. That's my only negative. They need to slow this motherfucker down. Like Pinky said in the limo, man. You just need to slow down when you're taking them corners, baby. Take them too goddamn fast. That's what they're doing. They're taking these corners too damn fast. Too much time is passing in between episodes. I'm not allowed to really take in these characters and the problem is we get introduced to like certain characters and before we can even fully get a feel for them and for them to be flushed out the next episode so much time has passed that they become older so it's a new actress a new actor that's taken over and I was just getting accustomed to the previous actor and actress in the previous episode so please relax slow it down man slow it down and that kind of also links as well to my negative in terms of the time skips certain people age and certain people don't freaking Damon Targaryen yeah he has not aged since episode one and supposedly it's been like nearly 20 years at this point it's near 20 years and he ain't aged a day and I'm like come on listen come on man like at least give him some wrinkles or something he's not aged neither has Princess Rhaenys she ain't aged neither in over 20 years what's going on even Otto they try to give him a little grey in his beard 
Madrid and the strongs as well, like the second hand of the king. Like they aged him up, man. He went bold and everything. But Oto got a little bit of grey, but he's still looking good. Reynice is the same. So is Damon. Like they have not aged. Also, the man that is still fucking hurt over the fact that Rhaenyras didn't give up the crown and go live to sell oranges and shit. Man likes uh Kristen. He hadn't aged neither. And it's like, come on. Aemon looks like Damon. <laughs> And it's weird because literally, if you just change one letter in their name, it's the same name. Aemond now looks exactly the same as his uncle, Damon. They look like brothers. So it's weird. You feel what I'm trying to say? They don't even look like nephew and uncle. They look like brothers. So they look like the same age. So yeah, they need to kind of stop that. Slow it down a little bit. Just a little bit. So my verdict for this episode, man, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It was back on top form like always. They did the damn thing. What happens next? It's going to be a lot, man. Honestly, it's going to be a lot. When the ending came, I was literally looking at the screen like Alison, don't you dare don't you dare you know for a fact that this ain't what he's talking about because even you're confused so don't do this don't do this one he's high out of his mind two you got this man sipping on milk of the puppy every damn day relax don't do this but again Alison going back into her bullshit it's gonna be it's gonna be a madness man so i can't i cannot wait for what happens next those are my thoughts and my opinions guys please let me know what you thought of the episode sound off in the comments and like always please Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you at the next Masquerade. Peace.